else would you be? Not here? Seems about right. Yeah, I can't I can't refute that logic. <laughs> Clearly. Also, as another reminder, I provided one last week. I will not be here next Saturday due to Extra Life 2013. So you'll have to go on without me. On that note, at about 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to want to take a break for dinner. Yeah, depending on how the run goes, it may take a, this run may take a little bit shorter than the other ones. I don't actually, ex this one I'm fairly sure will not run into a second session. Say that <laughs> my, my, my query is, are you, uh, are you better rested today, Sean? Yeah, this time I actually managed to get some sleep. I, I managed to get all the, the family done, uh, family stuff done in the week. So I am rested, and, uh... That's great to hear. If, uh, everyone's ready, I'm also ready to go. Um, before we get started, would you like me to make a series of, uh, health recovery tests for my physical damage for the eight days? Of, uh, no, it's, you're not too damaged, right? I'm at five out of ten, and I know, like, the extended time is, like, you make a test every day. So I didn't know whether you want me to or not. Go ahead, just heal it. Okay. Because, because you roll, you roll double, double body, so average rolls, uh, take, just taking the average, which is, uh, one success for every four dice is going to heal you. Um, that's that everyone GM. else. Everyone else ready? Yep. 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 Uh, I'm not mistaken, uh, someone didn't answer. Jordan, are you there? Oh, something changed, uh, something changed with your microphone volume, Jordan. We can't hear you. Is it working now? Yeah, now it yes. is. I don't know what the problem is. This, this happened the last time I was here. Uh, your microphone have a slider or anything on it? Because I know I constantly hit mine all the time. No, it's not that. It's probably something to do with the fact that I'm using the front ports of my computer instead of the back ones. And it just slides out. Uh, it's a possibility. And the computer doesn't like that. Oh, well. Yeah, I know my laptop hates me using anything on the left side. Um, well? Well, I'm ready to go, though. Okay. Um... Just need to pay attention to that. If if everyone stops responding to you again, it, we probably can't hear you. Um, it, it's most likely we're not just ignoring you. Uh, but uh, we're probably as, ignoring you. As for the um, as for the run on the twenty fifth, uh, Twitch will actually get a call from a number she um, very well recognizes. One that uh, she sent money to. Every month. For a long time now. Looks like there's going to be enough frowns to go around for everyone today. Yes, everyone's edge is refreshed. Um, unless, no, there's no reason anyone would have any pre-spent. Yeah, so everyone's edge is refreshed. Everyone's health is refreshed. Everyone should also load their ammo. When you answer the uh, com link, um, because I'm fairly sure you would, uh, yeah, you get a gruff. Uh, I want you to get uh, you and your team together and come down and meet me. My team. Yeah, that team you've been running with recently, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, the Technomancer has been saying something about it from what I hear. Uh, I know a couple other people have been talking about it. And 
where do you want to meet exactly? Go ahead and meet in my office. You know where his office is. It's downtown. Right. And is this about some kind of paying job? You know that uh, half million it said uh, you were supposed to owe for that uh, little incident with the maid's family? Well, I have a way to, for you to get that off your back and earn some money at the same time. Just one run. Trust. Fine, I'll hear you out. Good. Uh, I do believe this is one run you won't want to miss. Click. And then Twitch will call up the crew. This is Kyrie. Let's see what's on the news today. Oh, God damn it! Phone keeps ringing. <sighs> Don't tell me the dwarves are back. I'll pick it up. Crusader. No, Mom. This is Vice. Hey, I, uh... I've got a paying job for us, but, uh... Be forewarned, it involves the Mafia. The same ones you had a run in uh, about a month and a half ago? One and the same. Hmm. To which, All right. I didn't know you were a fixer. Then again, I didn't know Vice was a fixer either. Is this something you learned from his mom? She is a wonderful woman anyway uh, I'll send you guys the address if you uh, decide not to show up I do not blame you at all but uh, they'll probably pay well at any rate the uh, mafia can afford to I wouldn't suppose you had any details on how interesting this job would be yet, do you, Twitch? None yet. They uh, want to have the meet face-to-face -face on that. You just better not involve bunnies. I'll be there. Yeah, I got nothing better going on. I'll be there. Right. As will I. Just to hear him out. Yeah, that's pretty much my thought on it, too. Bye. Click. Bye. Now, as I was reading... <laughs> what sort of rubbish is Horizon telling people these days? And uh, then Twitch is going to call up Mr. Monday. Hello? The, uh, the Mafia is calling me in to do a run to work off another fabricated debt. Hmm. Well, uh, I think this one will be a little bit harder to help you from. Yeah, probably. 
Just wanted to keep you in on the loop, uh, in the loop on this one. This could uh, honestly, I have no idea whether or not this might go south. Well, um, hmm. can you go ahead and roll me his connection rating? Which is three. Well, um, I, I've been hearing some things about the, the Mafia having some internal problems. Uh, you know how the old two families, well, not old, the, the old family in L.A., and then you've got the, uh, the, 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 new, the newer family moving in. Um, yeah, I'm aware. Oh, yeah, obviously you're aware of no better than pretty much anyone. Um, I, I, well, I've heard that they've been having some uh, trouble, and uh, I heard a rumor that uh, someone big in the Milano family, the old family, uh, the Mickey Mouse mob, he had died recently. I, I don't know for sure, but it, it's, it's a rumor. Like, how big are we talking here? Like, um... I've heard rumors that it's it's the Don himself. I've heard rumors that it's his right hand man. I've turned, heard rumors that it's his daughter. Uh, it's just, just sort of a, just rumors floating around at the time. But I'm I'm fairly sure someone's died in the Milano family. Someone big, like a top three. So this might have something to do with a power vacuum. Well, with the Milano family, I'm not sure it's a power vacuum per se, because, well, they don't have a lot of power in the first place. It'd be like a, a normal uh, capo just dying. It, it creates some vacuum, but not enough for a major thing, not enough to call someone in from the outside. Um, I, I honestly can't guess. I'm, I'm not really too tied to the Mafia. All right, well, thanks for the heads up, at least. Yep, go ahead and keep me informed if anything uh, changes or you learn anything. Yeah, I definitely will do. Okay, bye. And uh, if it would help at all, um, I could make a Knowledge Mafia check. I've got a specialty in organizations. Go ahead and make that now. With a specialty? Um, no, not with the specialty. Just straight up Knowledge Mafia. Actually, damn, you... Twitch is on a roll. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> damn. Actually, you would have recently heard very similar rumors. Um, they probably wouldn't have cropped up more than a day or so ago. That uh, someone was recently executed or assassinated. It's just rumors about people connected to the Mafia saying things. But um, it's sometime within the past 24 hours. Man, look at all those sixes. I wish I spent a point of edge on this now. If you had, you might learn who and why. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, I mean, you, you can add your edge dice to any roll after the fact, but you'd only have the edge dice for the roll of sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those would all come up once. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a tragedy. All right, well then, uh, Twitch is going to start heading into downtown. And, uh, she's going to wear the business suit. Okay, um, anyone else want to call anyone before heading downtown? Or well, anyone want to just not head downtown? Well, Vice is going to head downtown, but he really doesn't have anyone to call. Because I'm pretty sure my contact, pretty sure Vice's contact would not know much about the Mafia. Yes, it's very doubtful. Um, Trusayer is going to grumble in annoyance, you know, after, you know, putting down his news and shit, you know. He's just about to get relaxing. Um, he's going to, you know, get his shit together. And uh, get on his amazing, glorious steed, the Entertainment System Cyclops. 
Prusair, you know, since, you know, he has a friend, he'll, he'll shoot, like, an interesting little banter thing, like, might have job with... with Mickey Mouse now? Thought he was dead. Uh, talk to you later if... If magical compounds come up, per se. <laughs> There's like some sort of crazy text message. Not like he knows anything about like the fucking, you know, gangs and shit like Mickey. What? Whatever. Fine. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, Coyote will jump in his SUV and on the way he will give Snowman a call. See if he can get any information on the uh, mafia happenings uh, that he may know. Well, with Snowman, give me the same thing. His uh, connect generating oh, four dice. With two hits, he'll say, um, well, uh, I've heard some rumors that the, the Mafia are, are going to some kind of, uh, uh, oh, let me see, going through some kind of, uh, internal struggle, like, uh, someone's just killing someone or something like that, but, uh, it's just rumors, but, uh, get those rumors cropping up, like, you know, twice a year, three times a year, so didn't make much of it. Right, thanks. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't involving toxic mages again. I don't know what the, the Mafia does. Yeah, well thanks for the info. Yeah, you're welcome. And um, with that, you all make it to uh, the his uh, office. Um, We're in downtown, right? I mean, I know it says downtown. Just <laughs> I'm being stupid. Just just fucking erase my question. I <laughs> I just rerounded. It didn't happen. Uh, yeah. So, uh, when you meet Todd, the four of you heading up to his... Apparently Twitch isn't there yet. So, yeah. Um, how, so, how does this place look, uh, Sean? I mean, like, what sort of, like, I guess my best question is, how does actually downtown look? And how does this building look in comparison? Is it like some sort of, like, office building or what? Well, headed downtown, it's, uh, from each of you, it's a little bit of a different drive, um, for, uh, Coyote and, uh, uh, Twitch, it's headed down around the giant wall around Hollywood, um, and as soon as you hit Pasadena and start heading in, uh, more and more spam and arrows until eventually you switch your thing into passive mode, um, you're calm link in a passive mode and most of the arrows go away. Downtown it gets a little bit more spammier. Even in passive mode you'll get things that manage to get through uh, your spam filters and whatnot. So you'll get uh, the advertisements and things like that. Most of downtown has been reconstructed since the twins hit and everything sank. Um, it's stylized to look of, uh, depending on where exact you, exactly you are, somewhere from the uh, 1900s, the start of the 1900s, to uh, 2000. It's all sort of this uh, attempt at an old callback to the heydays of uh, America. Um, the office building itself is sleek, uh, looks, well, it looks 60s looks uh 
mafiosa. Uh, it, it really does scream mafia hideout. That said, uh, probably a lot of the buildings on the block do scream the same thing, sort of a, a 50s, 60s, maybe even before 40s, uh, just sort of this, this old school uh, pinstripe suit look. Um, the building itself, other than that, it's fairly inconspicuous. It's just a normal office building. Uh, private offices for smaller corporations, private offices for individuals that need private offices. Um, reception hall is, well, fairly unsecured. It's, it's just a normal uh, reception hall uh, for unimportant things. So it's easy enough to get in, tell the receptionist, she'll give you a, she'll give you a pass up. Um, not actually even a physical pass, you'll just call up and, yep, someone's coming, and you'll head up the elevator and tell you where to go. You could easily hit any other button and go anywhere else in the office building. It doesn't look like it's secured at all. Uh, stepping into the office, it's a long row of private offices, uh, rent one office for, uh, by the month, so just like you'd rent a, an apartment or something, just in a different part of, uh, the town. Stepping into the office, it's a nice, well-to-do office. Uh, not a penthouse suite, not the something that a Don's gonna have, but, uh, very close. A uh, very powerful capo. Uh, whiskey on the shelves, uh, Individual with a, a suit and vest, uh, what would be a three-piece suit, minus the jacket, laying on the uh, the nice upholstered uh, chair, uh, actual wooden desk. That looks like actual wood, too. A um, couple of chairs, uh, bookshelves, books. That's an anachronism that uh, I don't see very often. And uh, sitting in on the opposite side of the desk is a uh, normal-looking individual, a uh, bit tall, uh, thin, human, if you if your ears tell you anything. Does he have blood on his dress shirt? <laughs> no, currently does not have blood up to the elbows on his dress shirt. All right. Uh, how's he? How's he look? Like, how's the room? I mean, I guess you described like so. He's the only person in this particular room. He usually have like a secretary or assistant who also stays in the room with him, who like shows us the door. Is it just him and us? It's, it's just him. the The offices themselves is essentially just a row of private offices. Just not enough room for a secretary. Maybe there's somewhere else where there's more room for a secretary or something. You, know, you don't know, you haven't looked around. But these ones are just, just big enough for a, a private office, and that's it. How's he look? The, how's his, like, personal demeanor, like, external? As, like, you know, like a glance here. Um, externally, his face is flat. He, you would not want to play poker against him for any amount of money. His face is perfectly neutral um no surprise no no glances his eyes scan everything in perfect lines every single time very very composed he's a uh, tall about six foot two and okay. fairly thin about a uh, hundred and eighty hundred ninety pounds All right. Does he have any, uh, I suppose, like cosmetic enhancements or like uh, jewelry that he wears? You know, like maybe rings on his fingertips, insignia that he might wear on the collar of his uh, his clothing. Um, you want me to give you like a perception test made only to you? Go ahead and yeah, give me a perception test made only to me, and everyone can do that if they want to, if they're uh, inspecting him in detail. He is certainly doing the same for you. He is watching every move you make very closely. Only to you? Yes, I go ahead and do it at GM only. 
Done and done, John. Done and done. Is this uh, visual? Uh, yes, uh, visual. Unless you're trying to hear him. Or smell him. There, I sent it to you. Well, that's an interesting number of hits. Um... And, uh... Could I also make a judge intentions test? Yeah, that'll that one will be uh contested. Um I figured it might be hard to try to make a judge intentions roll whenever we haven't heard anything he has to say yet. Yeah, that one will be just mostly a for the entire scene, if you want to make it now. Sure, I'll make it now and you can Drop details as appropriate. Yeah. I would figure if anyone would make a judge intentions role, it would be Twitch, given the fact that she'd be the only one who has any sort of basis with this person. Yep. Oh, and, um, obviously I don't know the result of the roll, but, uh, let's go ahead and say that she spends a point of edge to re-roll all failed dice on that t test. So just give me the roll again, and I'll take what you didn't get, uh, successes. What? Just, just give me, just give me the roll one more time, and I'll, I'll figure out how many you, successes you'd have total. I suppose to sort of like expedite the process, so I'm not calling for this. Uh, of course, Truesayer is going to want to uh, flip to Astral Perception and make an Ascensing roll of him as well. You want me to also make that just to you, Sean? Yes. Okay, sure thing. There we go. I believe that should have sent, unless I got disconnected for some reason. <laughs> Okay, let me go ahead and send those out. Um, you would be very hard pressed to sub vocalize anything without informing him, so uh, I'll send those out as whispers. Understood, Chief. And yes, I realized that had a typo in it, Grimoth. Just, just, just before you say anything, I, I do see that. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, Sean. You've done worse. There was a time where you said uh, bonjour to us last week. <laughs> yes, yes, um... Trying to type this is difficult with uh, only one hand. Uh, it recently got bit on one hand, so I, I'm doing everything one-handed right now.
Well, I mean, technically, bonjour is just good day. So, I mean, it sort of works. Yeah, but bonjour at the at midnight. I mean, I, I I guess you could call it <laughs> like oh, it's a new day. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of like saying uh, "What's up" is a generic greeting. Yeah, I said it was technical. I didn't say it made any sense. So, uh, you know, whenever uh, whenever we we finish the session, uh, I'm gonna say uh, "What's up." And then leave. <laughs> Don't you know that all greetings are uh, neutral to whether they're at the beginning or the end of a meeting? Just like Aloha. Exactly what I was thinking. I mean, you know, uh, people say good day to each other. I, then again, they're like the old stuffy types. You know, that's kind of outdated form of conversation in 2013. But there are certainly people I've heard say good day to each other before they, like, part ways. I guess. It just seems kind of terse for that to be the, uh, you know, final message of a conversation. Well, I suppose she did have reason to be uh, more friendly towards us in a taunting manner. It's fair. It's fair. I said that was entirely just a mistake. Uh, I did actually have that written down somewhere. I just could not find it in my notes what the proper one was.